everybody, and welcome back to Super Tech Services. I'm Brian, and I got another uh, really helpful video for you guys today. So on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your printing. Um, when you're printing from your computer to a copier, sometimes it can get really slow and bogged down. So I'm going to go over four steps today on how to mediate that and get you uh, printing faster. So let's go. All right, so step one is plug in your computer with an Ethernet port. Um, not everyone has this ability, I know, but if you do have the ability to do this by either buying a dongle or uh, plugging in directly into your uh, laptop or, or your computer, it will dramatically improve your printing speed. So that's step one, plug in an Ethernet cable. All right, so step two is going to be use an IP address instead of Bonjour. So when you hit the Apple menu and go to System Preferences, Printing and Scanning, and then when you hit the plus icon to go ahead and add your printer, you'll see that Bonjour will pop up with your printer right there. And most people select this, and that's okay. But Bonjour tends to be a little slower printing than when you directly put in the IP address, which I'll show you in a second. So once again, just go to the top uh, globe icon there that I just selected, and type in the IP address of your printer or copier there. When you do this, it gives you a more direct connection, and uh, we're not sure, quite sure why, but uh, the printing tends to be a little faster. Also under protocol, you can um, change it to LPD, IPP, or you can even leave it on AirPrint. And you can play around with these as well. Some may go faster, some not, but uh, LPD is what we usually use. And then after you select um, your IP address, you can go ahead and select your driver software as well. You can try to type in your printer model and see if you have it there and hit OK. Or you can leave it on AirPrint, whatever um, works best for you. And I'll get back on this later as well. We have a couple things that we want to add on to this. So let's go ahead and just add that. OK, and we've added that, so let's move on. Step three, and this is a big one, do not use Print Preview to print PDFs or photos. Okay, so Print Preview is Mac's built-in preview and print um, service, but it's very heavy and the prints are dramatically slower when you print from Preview. So you'll right-click and open it, and Preview is usually the default. So when printing PDFs, you want to use Adobe Acrobat Reader or Adobe Acrobat, and it's free. You can download that, and I'll show you how to do that later. For now, we're just going to go ahead and um, right-click Open with Adobe Reader. So instead of Print Preview, you're going to be using this at Adobe Reader, and you'll just hit File Print like you normally would do with Print Preview. This tends to work a lot better with copiers, and your printing is a lot faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that there, and then just go ahead and close that. All right, so the other program, like I said, now for photos, you just want to use Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, or any other print um, software um, that tends to work a lot better with uh, printers. Okay, now I'm just going to show you how to download Adobe uh, Reader. Just go to Google, and I'll let that load up. And just type in Adobe, and it should pop up right there under Acrobat. And then just go right under Adobe Acrobat Reader. And you'll see on the top right hand side there, download Adobe Reader. It's very easy. And then you just want to go ahead and hit Allow. And then you'll see that that's just going to download in the top right corner there. And then you just open it up, double click it, install it. And then you're just going to want to right click it when you have a, a PDF and open with Adobe Reader. And you can set it to Adobe as your default. And like I said, this is a big deal. This will speed up your printing dramatically. So you'll just want to right click and open with Adobe Reader. Okay, and step four, this is last but not least, use the correct print driver from the manufacturer. So our uh, MFPs are Konica, so I'm just going to take you to that website. You can just type in KMBS drivers in Google, 
and where it says Onyx Web, My Konica Minolta would be where you download your driver. And then right there on the left side where it says Quick Search, you're just going to type in the model um, copier that you have. So let's just try C754E and just click on it. And then click the Drivers tab. And then you're going to want to scroll down and find what software. Most of our customers have Macs, so I'm just going to use that as an example. And you have all your operating system Mac versions here. And the latest one is 10.5. And you just scroll down to where it says letter.zip. And you'll select that one. And same thing, I have other videos on how to install this, but you would just click it. Wait for it to download, open it up, and just go through the prompts and install it. And then once the driver's installed, you can just go ahead and go back to System Preferences, Printer and Scanners, and I'm just going to add a printer like I did before just so I can show you where you put the driver. So just put your IP address in like we did before and at the bottom where it says use you can go to select software and type in the software name and you'll see the driver pop up there and this is really important using the correct driver um, fixes a whole host of errors that you might get when you're using just a generic driver and same thing goes vice versa sometimes the driver could be causing an issue and you just want to go ahead and use the air print driver which should work all right, everybody, with that said, that's how you speed up printing on a Konica, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.